Oh Lord, cleanse me with hyssop and I will be whiter than snow. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more morning routines. And that's the neck. So, guys, when you're cleansing, remember the back of your neck. It collects a lot of dirt there, especially if you're somebody who likes to wear lots of jewelry. At the back of the neck, it collects a lot of dirt. got your clothes on, your clothes that you wear, your jewellery, constantly touching your neck during the day. So guys, don't forget your neck area. When you're doing, when you're doing your facial, your washing, everything else, don't forget your neck. Because the crevices can collect a lot of dirt. First time you're seeing my video, normally I will just clean the neck bit until the cotton wool pad comes up white. see me do more great content you know please like comment and subscribe because it helps thank you in advance to all those people that help me all those people that are helping even if you're somebody who helps me and I didn't realize that you were helping me I pray you know that I actually do get to see 
you and actually to see what you've done and how you've helped me okay guys so that's the cleansing bit the reason why I used the blue lights was you know just for something different you know a little bit of ambience make myself feel happier you know because I like to play with lighting a lot and it's all good fun so like I said before in my other videos if you haven't watched them you can find them on the feed if you don't want to watch the full video you'll see the shorts so the micellar water is coming up it's coming up good yeah I was gonna say coming up trumps but guys you know how it is any little thing that I say sometimes things that I say are misconstrued so misconstrued misconstrued I have to check that out that is a word isn't it anyway guys I'm gonna put the lights on now because I'm gonna do the face pack and I need the full light for you guys to actually see the product and to actually see what I'm doing okay guys there are more videos on the feed that I've actually done all with the blue light in case you want to see those ones okay my lovelies I just check the background I check the background for myself you know for areas where I can actually just improve the background just so that it looks better on YouTube the plants that you see in the back is the hyssop it's hyssop I believe that that's actually hyssop I now that I'm actually aware of it I see it's all over the place there's a video in the shorts where I've actually done with that hyssop that I just I actually picked it this morning so I just went out because now that I'm aware of hyssop I see it everywhere just like the teachers normally say you know the people who teach about this stuff once you actually have an awareness of something all of a sudden it's, it begins to appear in your reality everywhere and that's exactly what's happened to me with the hyssop since i found out that hyssop is used for divine healings and in ancient times they actually used to use it to clean the altar because it's got divine healing properties so i'm all over the hyssop i went to look for the hyssop oil i went to holland and barrett because with organic stuff i tend to just like to go to them first of all before going anywhere else so i went to holland and barrett went to look for the hyssop oil but unfortunately they didn't have it unfortunately they didn't have it and i didn't really feel like going online so but as god would have it i passed it the other day i actually passed uh, st julian's road i think there's actually a hyssop plant there and then I saw it and I was like, mm. you know, and then this morning as I was just walking up as if I was going towards Cricklewood or Broadway, not that far, basically as I was walking uphill, I just found um, a hyssop plant, I believe it is hyssop, I'm going to show you that. guys you'll see it growing everywhere it's all over the place it grows wild everywhere you know i've also seen it i mean i see it in videos i've seen it in the nigerian videos in the Hollywood videos and guys it's all over the place so guys today i just picked myself a bunch it smells lovely it really smells nice it's beautiful I just picked myself a bunch as you can see behind me yeah. and it works, it definitely works, it definitely works, it's doing something, it definitely works, yeah. God is not a liar, he's incapable of lying, yeah. that's his very nature, he's incapable of lying, so if he says something is so, it is definitely so. Because all of us know, even people who don't believe in God, they know that he's incapable of lying. He's not a man that he should lie. So, and it smells, it smells lovely. It smells really, really nice. So guys, if you want to try it out, feel free to try it out. 
and you know come back with testimonies to tell to share with us you know how the hyssop works for you in your life i'm going to be using a lot i know i'm going to be using a lot around the house and it's pretty as well isn't it pretty i think it's pretty Don't you think it's pretty? I think it's pretty. This is from Nature's Garden. So, I've presented the hyssop to, to you guys. Now that I've presented the hyssop to you guys, today's, today's face face pack that I decided to do this one I've been looking forward to using this for a long time actually and it's uh, from the just right beauty range you guys know I like her stuff they're reasonably priced and they work so I'm looking forward to doing this because I think this would work as well because her products just work um, you know I've got her lippy that I use all the time so this is fresh face cream face mask Yesterday I did the pink clay one So today I'm doing the cream face mask because with the clay yesterday my skin ended up feeling dry It ended up feeling dry. It's still a bit dry to the touch I've done the cleansing and now I'm gonna use this like I said I'm using this creamy one today Because yesterday I used the clay and it dried out on my skin so Fresh face cream face mask infused with oat extract. Oats are good for you, very, very good for you. And hyaluronic acid. So normally I don't really like to use things with acid in it. If you're one of my spotters, you would know that already. But I bought this obviously because I like her stuff and I'm gonna try it. But for future reference, if you're a new sparta of mine, I don't like to use products that have got any kind of acid in it. And it says uh, it helps to boost hydration and enhance your skin's glow. Yeah, like I said, the one I used yesterday dried me out. And I don't actually think my face is glowing as it normally does. Uh, the pink clay mask is a detoxifying one, so I suppose it is supposed to dry out your skin a little bit. I don't know, please don't take that as, you know, do, 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 don't take it as given. Do your own due diligence. Due diligence. So she's got us the directions for use, as, she, as you should do. It says, uh, before I read out the directions, because I do these things properly. The perfect addition to your skincare routine infused with oat extract, hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. Vitamin C is good for you. It says this luxurious cream face mask helps to replenish and soothe skin. That's what I was saying. I need something to replenish my skin after doing the clay mask of yesterday. And it says great for on the go or a pamper night in. So, directions for use, gently massage mask into a cleansed dry face using your fingertips, avoiding the lip and eye area, leave on for 20 minutes, rinse with warm water and pat face dry, use regularly. Okay guys, so, that's the top, this is how it was. That's the top that I broke it off. I broke it off everyone. Okay. Okay guys, as you can see, that is rich and creamy. You guys, you can see that for yourself. Sorry about that, I'm just putting the product. Yeah, it's vegan. Does it say it's vegan? 100 milliliters. Uh, it keeps for 12 months. That little bit. I was actually checking to see if it's vegan or not. But anyway, before I actually lose the product like yesterday, just apply with your fingertips. 
yeah i like it just like i knew i would because normally with the with the products and the brands that i use you know frequently frequently i know that they actually work you know because i would have used something else in their brand you know in their products range well, that's normally my reasoning so if i use something in their product range that works for me i tend to think okay i might try something else you know because i used the first one and it worked and guys yeah i'm liking it as you can see it looks like applying cream to your face and it's a hundred milliliters so there's a lot in it i don't need i don't need this much on my face i really don't so i'm actually gonna put some on other areas it doesn't say use it on other areas but because i've got so much in the palm of my hand i'm actually gonna use it on other areas as well yeah guys it's nice it's nice it's nice and it's creamy as you can see it looks like cream it looks like cream and it feels like cream as well i normally put these things on my lips mm. I normally put these things on my lips but it does say avoid your lip area but I normally put these products on my lips because I think if they're working on my face I want them to work on my lips as well but you don't have to it's nice you can see it does work on the lips you don't have to that's just something that i always do with the cleansers because my reasoning obviously is if they're gonna work on my face they're gonna work on my lips too see i've still got so much in the palm of my hand so i'm just gonna use it on my elbows as well guys you don't have to like i said i'm just doing a bit extra because i've got all the products I don't want to wash it away. I don't think I'll be able to put it back in the pack. Guys, this is a great product for the price that I bought it for. And how much was it? I'm going to have to go back and actually check the price for you guys. But her products are not expensive. I don't even think it was up to a fiver. See? And there's still so much in there. I put it near the candle so it started cooking. <laughs> I put it, I just lent it on the candle. Guys, you gotta be careful with all these things. Just trying to put it back in. Okay, you gotta be careful with these things. I just put it by there, by the candle. I didn't even realize until I saw it smoking. So guys, that's it. And it says leave on for 20 minutes. I think that if you have dry skin, you're really going to love this one. I think if you have dry skin, if you're somebody who suffers with dry skin, you're really, really going to love this one. Because it's so rich and it's creamy. It's like Dove. But it doesn't smell like Dove. But it's the consistency of Dove, you know Dove products, you know the Dove, you know, moisturizing cream and shower gel. That's also one of my beauty essentials as well. Guys, it feels like Dove, but it doesn't smell like it. It just smells like oats, you know, nothing overpowering. I always do my hands and I do my elbows. I'm going to wash off my hands. I'm not going to wash off my face in the sink like I normally do. Because it says to rest it for 20 minutes. 
so i'm going to keep it on for 20 minutes if you live in a tropical climate you're gonna need to put the air conditioning on when you do it because i live in london and i'm feeling hot already from the application of the product you know because it's so rich and creamy so if you live somewhere like nigeria ghana you know somewhere in africa or you know non-african tropical climates you're gonna need to do this with the air conditioner or the fan on and otherwise you're gonna start sweating you can always have your shower afterwards anyway that's the whole point that's why it's a morning routine you know you do it before you go and have your shower your bath or whichever you prefer more products because I am loving her stuff. I'm loving her stuff man. She's thinking of she's thinking of the everyday people with her products. You know she's thinking of everyday people with her products because she just does them. She's winning and I really really pray that if I ever get to do something like this I can you know maybe copy her template or work with her template because Whoever she's working with, you know, whatever she's doing is working. They're giving us these, she's giving us these brilliant products, you know, at a great price. Guys, I believe you can actually see it. And the product is actually sinking into the skin. You know, like a cream, you can actually see. It is, you know, haven't... You, well, everything is happening in front of you guys, so you can actually see that the product is actually sinking into the skin. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to stay for 20 minutes to show you guys the face, but maybe I'll come back with another video. <laughs> maybe I'll come back with another video. Well, I suppose I can wash my hands off so that you guys can see the hands. Please like, comment and subscribe. If you like the videos, please like the videos. I don't think there's anything wrong with liking the videos. Guys, sometimes I see I see posts that have millions of views and no likes. I don't even know how that is possible. If not for the fact that people are not actually giving people the likes. Imagine having 294 million views but nobody likes the video don't you think that there's something wrong with that anyway i leave everything to god because i have decided to follow him he knows best what what is there to just like a video if you like it if not for the fact that people are being selfish and holding back their likes no i'm not forcing anybody to like but if you're deliberately not liking something that has that amount of views, there is a problem somewhere, isn't there? For somebody to have, there's another one that I, the first one that I saw was 19 million views and not even one single like. And I was like, there is something wrong with that. There's definitely something wrong with that. But anyway, guys, please, God forgive me. He said I should not complain. My mouth, shut up. Mm? My mouth, shut up from complaining. Mm? Shut up from complaining. Mm? Let the people do. Let the people do what they feel is right in the sight of God. Mm? I don't know what to say again. Anyway.
things. Oh my god, it's so nice. It's so nice. It's really, really nice as you can see, guys. That's it. See, guys? I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave it on for 20 minutes because I want to get the full benefit for the face. So look at that. That's obviously to give you an idea of what it's gonna do on your face. Thank you, Jess. Thank you so much. I appreciate what you're doing with your brand and your products. I really, really do. And I really hope to see some more great products in, you know, in your brand because it's working. And those of us who who currently don't have a lot of cash, you know, we can actually buy these products and they work. They work. I like them. So guys, that's the one I used today. You can go check it out for yourself. And it says dermatologically tested, vegan friendly. There you have it. And as you can see, it, seep, it, it seeps into the skin all by itself. You can see it. Just like any cream would. But it's a face mask, so obviously I'm going to wash it off after 20 minutes. this presentation please like comment and subscribe so that i can do more of these for you guys i love doing these um, i love doing it so that you guys can actually see it's just sinking into the skin like any other creamy products would so obviously once you've applied it you don't have to rub it in see that after 20 minutes you wash it off so normally in the interest of transparency i normally come and do the follow-up video after you know i've had my wash and everything so yeah i probably will do that but these are the hands i normally do the hands and the elbows quickly so you guys get to see yeah see that Perfect. Thank you guys. Like, comment and subscribe. Have a wonderful Sunday.